Hello everybody, welcome back. This is uh, Whipping the Whip Wednesday colour and chat. Um, we're still working on Johanna Basford's um, Rooms of Wonder. So yes, so there wasn't one last week. I do apologise for that. That was due to um, being very busy uh, where I am, what with my mum being ill. Well, she's in the hospital and various other things going on. So I'm just going to come in and we're going to do a little bit more of uh, this page try and get some more of it done and i'll update you as to everything that's going on if i can so personally i'm i'm fine i am feeling a little bit um sad oops sorry that's just a i had an issue with my printer i'll tell you about that later um not not really sad but just a bit down um, because obviously the shops are now filling up with Christmas stuff and this will be the first Christmas without my dad and Christmas Eve is going to be exceptionally hard because Christmas Eve was his birthday he would have been 84 this year um, so obviously I know I've got to try and, and have a good Christmas for Jennifer's sake um, I'm hoping that if mum's out of hospital she'll be able to come and stay with us Christmas Eve Christmas night so she's not on her own uh, but we'll have to see so yeah I've been feeling a little bit sad because of uh, that nothing really bad not feeling really bad but just a little bit you know aware that he's not here this year so it's going to be a sad sad Christmas if Chris isn't coming home I believe he's going to spend it with Richard and Claire so if it weren't for me mum would be on her own so I don't want to be on her own up at the house without dad you know Christmas Day Christmas Eve is birthday <clears throat> so oh dear me I have a bit of a headache um, it's this, this weather changing plays havoc with my sinuses I'm telling you it's awful so it's good to be back though so yeah last week I was just running around like an idiot I'm trying to get my mum's carpet cleaned with um, like wet cleaning it with a, a vax machine so with a carpet cleaner um, but it's so been so long since my dad cleaned it and he had my vax for over a year before he died uh, that it is really bad I'm gonna literally have to get a scrubbing brush and scrub out the fibers they're so embedded down with dirt that they're flat it, at one point I thought there was no carpet there it was just back in but it's just that they were so embedded down um, and I don't know it's gonna take me a while but I, I, I will do it um, I'm gonna get I tried to get a scrubbing brush there would have done a bit today I'm gonna go, get in there with a scrubbing brush and just scrub at, at the get to get the fibers up a, a normal brush would probably do it but uh, I didn't have any in Tesco so I will take mine down on Friday <laughs> but I will get it done I'm determined that that carpet will be nice and clean so I've just got moving some stuff around for when mum finally does get home I mean, mostly she's quite happy on her own, but it's, it's getting her to engage with the flipping physios. She's, I think she's at that point. She doesn't want to, but she knows she has to. So she keeps saying she's going to. So if she doesn't tomorrow, I will be mostly displeased because they will stop trying and they'll just send her home. They'll discharge her with um, a care package and something called a steady which she doesn't want. I have got batteries everywhere and they're all running out. Um, oh, there's my other Canon one. Is that my other Canon one? I have got three Canon chargers because I have had in the past three or four Canon um, cameras and <laughs> I just got my old uh, DSLR out, the 450. So I thought I'll try and use that because I haven't used that for a while. It's been, I thought, right, because I use this one for filming all the time. I thought I'll, I'll try and use the 450 just for taking photographs you know I am a bit of a camera ho, ho I love my cameras cameras are my favorite things one of my favorite things along with coloring and reading and all that but I've got different sized batteries for different cameras I have ordered two new batteries for the 450d because the Canon one doesn't charge up properly I don't think anymore because it's so old and then I've got two that have worked and then I've got one that seems to be coming apart so I'm gonna to have to dispose of that sensibly in the battery box at um, the supermarket so it gets disposed of correctly 
yeah, so I really want to get back into my photography. I used to have a photography blog called Travels With My Camera. It was originally on Blogspot. Oh God, my head. And then I changed it to WordPress. The problem with WordPress is you only get a limited amount of space for photographs. With Blogspot, it's unlimited. But with Blogspot, you've got to have an account to leave comments. With WordPress, you don't. The problem is I'm with my, photo my uh, one at WordPress, I'm at the end of the limit, so. Uh, of photographs so I'm gonna have to have a think about that but you know I want to get this picture finished I've got so many pictures on the go not compared to some people who have 80 odd I know and I have seen that but I've got like 15 or something I hate it I hate having that many I'd rather have an uncolored book that one day I'll color in than a whip <laughs> which is why I've got hundreds of uncolored books even though I'm trying not to buy as many um yeah so there's that basically it's just it's just hard to do everything that you know that I've got to do um but uh, Jennifer's fine Paul's fine and I am fine Jennifer's very excited for Christmas even though we haven't had Halloween yet Halloween I'm not big on um obviously I'm not big on Christmas this year either but uh, that's another story Christmas I, I can manage I'll manage for Jennifer's sake because She's only six, she still loves it. Um, but it will be hard, understandably. Um, but yeah, I want to get back into my photography big time because I, I miss it. Like I said, it used to be, um, I have one and it's called Travels with My Camera. And if you if you put in tra Travels with My Candry, Andrew Pike, it'll come up as a WordPress one. And if you want to have a look, you can. You don't have to, but you can. I better change this battery before it goes off. Anyway, so here's another battery that's not going to last for very long, but <sighs> we'll do our best. We'll find, have to find the battery charger. <laughs> like I said, I've got a battery charger, but it's the one that my old camera battery is going for my first digital Canon. Um, it's annoying that every time they put out a new camera, they change the battery size. It's so blinking annoying. Uh, you know, I mean, I know now they're trying to make all the phone cable chargers all the same USB, what they call C's, isn't it, I think. They want them all to be the same so that you don't have to faff around uh, changing chargers. And I think that's great. And I wish they'd do that with camera batteries as well. Just, you know, I mean, okay, different, if, if you want to do it different brands like Nikon or, or Pentax or Minolta and Canon, they could all have different ones. But make it the same for all your cameras because it's a bloody nightmare. trying to get them all done and this battery's already run out <sighs> I'm really not doing very well today am I so anyway we've got a bit of time before it actually goes so yeah I do want to try and um I can't think of the word uh, get back into my photography I used to love it I used to take a lot of photographs I'm currently backing up my hard drive of photos onto Amazon photos because I have Amazon Prime and if you don't know if you've got Amazon Prime you get Amazon photos and you get free unlimited photo storage as part of your Prime plan now you get a certain amount of videos I don't really save my videos I mean I got a few of Jennifer when she was a baby and that's fine they're the ones I want to keep but in general if I'm like this video is it's on YouTube I can find it there if I want it why would I want to keep it permanently so you would have to you have to pay for extra storage for extra files or uh, if you want extra videos but as I'm only storing photos I, I don't really worry about it so and my phone's linked to it so every time I take a photograph on my phone it automatically sends it to Amazon Photos and if I've got photos on my hard drive I've got uh, an app on my laptop that will automatically that I could just go add I, I can back up certain um, photos that I want to so I'm currently backing up my photos and there's a lot of them because I am old and I've been taking photos since I was about 13, maybe younger, 11 actually, I think I had my first camera. So, yeah. 
it's just one of those things. So it's like on 21% or something. I'm gonna have to keep moving the mouse because, oh, tell I, 22. If the, if the laptop goes into sleep, it um, stops uploading. So it's gonna be very slow. So that's okay. It'll get done eventually. Oh, my printer, I had a problem with my printer earlier. I was trying to print some stuff up, some book covers for my reading journal, which is uh, needs updating. And I noticed the yellow wasn't printing. Everything else was printing absolutely fine. No problem at all, but no yellow. And I thought, oh, so I tried clean, eventually figured out how to clean the heads because they don't like to make it easy for you. Clean the heads, no, no going. Clean the cartridge, no going. Thought, right, I got a spare. What I'll do is I will go and I will put the new cartridge in, take the old one out, which I did. And now it's working fine. So obviously for some reason, the yellow ink had dried up. I only used it last week, it was fine. So I don't know why Excuse me, it has suddenly done that, but for some reason it wanted to not work properly. So I'm not, I'm not, not bothered. It's fine. It's fine. But it was annoying. Anyway, it's working now again, so. I printed up the book covers that are ready to be printed. I've still got loads that haven't. Um, I try and have one of every, this is really small, I'm going to have to do this off camera because it's just too small to do. I try to do one of every book I've got straight away. The reason being is that when you go to put it in your, your journal, and you write, if, if you write in it without having the picture in it, you might not save enough space for the picture. I found, found that and you end up putting the picture over the writing and it's a bit annoying. So what I'm going to, what I did is I just, uh, I'll print them all out. All the books I've got physically, all the Kindle, all, all the, uh, what's it called? What are they called? Audiobooks. Because I am reading... I started reading The Dark Half by Stephen King last night, which is really good. And I'm also listening to Stephen King's Needful Things. And he actually narrates it. There's a few of few of them he actually narrates himself, which is great. Love it. Um, then the new, I got a new Marilyn book last week, uh, which I've started. I'm not fast about finishing that anytime soon, but it's there. I got a book on my Kindle which is called Borrowed Time which is another time travel one because you know they're everywhere at the moment. I love the time travel ones. They are so much fun. And yeah so that's what I'm reading really. Um, YouTube I've been watching the usual. I finished watching all of the plain ones on Green Dot Aviation. So I'm waiting for new ones on that one to come out. And what's the other one? Um, I'm still trying to catch up with Mr. Bolin. Um, I listen to him when I can. I'm still uh, fascinating horror I'm up to date with. I just have to watch theirs every week, which I do. Right, this is the last battery. It says it's fully charged, so fingers crossed. It is while we do this window and keep chatting. So yeah, that's what I've, I've been watching um, there. I do try and keep up with your colouring videos. It is very difficult because Jennifer likes to monopolise the television, so. But um, I usually watch them on my phone. If she's got the TV. Sometimes she wants to, to watch on the phone for some reason. I don't know why. I think she likes she likes to watch shorts sometimes, so. But, yeah, I don't know. So there will be a book and supplies haul this month. There's not much, but uh, there's a few books, but there's not, not many supplies, only a couple of supplies. But, yeah, so there will be a supply haul and a book haul this month. 
like I said, try and do them every other month. Because um, that way there's more, otherwise it'd be just like one or two items most, most months. Um, obviously this month there's been a lot of Halloween stuff out and I do love Halloween books. Even though I will not colour in them all, as I never do. But I do, I do like them. So. I think about going to where my mum is at the moment, because the hospital she's at is a rehabilitation centre, a physio centre. Because um, medically, there's nothing wrong with her. It's just she can't move very well. Is that it, it takes me different routes there and back all the time. I mean, the main route is very simple. It's easy to do. But sometimes it'll take you a different route. And one of the routes takes me past the old house I used to live in. So I would like to have a visit, you know, go that way one day and just... Especially if it's a nice sunny day, take some photographs. Take the old... 450D and see how it's working. The reason I got the, the 70 was that it, it stopped working properly. I was having issues with it. So I ordered the one I used and, and I hardly use it for photographs. I use it mostly for filming, colouring chats and my wrap ups and, and that's fine. So yeah, but I do like to go out and take photographs of various things, whether it's on film or on uh, Oh, on my digital. I must admit, I have still got to finish off doing a video I started last year. Not the summer just gone, but the summer before, which was a video on the Zeiss Icon 521 or whatever it is. 20, I don't know what it is. Um, folding camera. So <laughs> I've done a lot of filming, but I haven't developed the role of film yet. It's in the bedroom drawer. I keep thinking I must do that soon. I want to do it before the end of the year so I can say we're going to do another one potentially on either the Diana F from Lumography, the Holger or the Roller Flex and see which one we decide to do. I do love my cameras. I, I've got so many. Um, I've got four or five digital ones, two digital SLRs. I've got the one I use for the vlogging. I got one that Paul's mum gave me, but I haven't got a charger for it. I've got another one that I got for five quid that I haven't got a charger. I have got a charger for it, but I don't know where it is. And then I've got another one that takes AA batteries or AAA batteries. <laughs> and then there's all the ones that I got from the auction house that I have never tried or they don't work or whatever. I just... Sometimes it's quite funny to try and sort some of this stuff out because of, um, I'll do that one later. So. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, you know, sometimes you just feel a bit lost. That's where I am right now with this picture. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm a bit lost. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing now. Uh, <laughs> we've only done 15 minutes so far. Let me have a... I think... I think, I think, I think, I think... Let me have a look. I'll do this little... Get these out a minute. Um, these. Got my pencils. So I'm still doing this one because nobody actually said whether or not they wanted me to or not. So I thought I'd just carry on doing this one. I got battery packs everywhere and I really... What's that charger? See, I'm seeing charges everywhere and I'm like, what's that one for? I'm going to have to label the chargers. I'm going to have to put labels on them and say this one is for the 450D, this one is for the 700D, this is for the such and such this is for the such and such <laughs> do you know what I mean it's really hard work to keep in track of all these charges 
we have to do it downstairs as well. Everything that's got a cable has got to have a sticker on it that tells you what it's for. Sorry. I just kicked. Kicked the bucket. We're, up to, we're still on 22%. <laughs> it's been on 22% uploading for ages. Like I said, I have far too many photographs. A lot of them I've got printed up, but I haven't um, put them in albums. I used to put them in albums all the time. I had hundreds of albums. Well, not hundreds, but like 70. Well, I don't know, actually. I've got one to do. And I like doing them. I just... I know I'm going to come across a lot of photographs of my dad as well, which will be nice. But it will also be very sad. Knowing that he's not here anymore. Um, but I, I was looking at some of the pictures of him the other day and it was really nice to see them. So, can't be all bad, can it? Oh, God, my shoulder. Oh, oh mate, I have got a bit of a dicky neck. But that's okay. Oh, right. So tonight is parents' evening. Oh, yeah, so. Or parent consultations, they call them these days. They don't call them parents' evening. Which I think is a bit weird. It's parents' bloody evening. So we get to go and talk to Jennifer's teacher, which will be fun, because she's uh, not enjoying school as much this year for some reason. I don't know why. Whether or not it's because... We try and get her to, to read and, and write at home. She doesn't want to do it. And as much as you try and force them, you can't force a child really to do it. We try and make her do it as much as we can. Um, but she just does not want to engage. Something just fell off. I don't know what it was. Probably a pencil. With doing the uh, writing, she'll read. You know, we'll get a book out and she'll read it, a bit of it. And, and that's fine, she doesn't much seem to mind. But you ask her to write, she doesn't like writing. And I was just saying, they do spellings on a Friday. I'm pretty sure I did when I was in school as well, even though it was a different school. And she would never let us help her learn her spellings. So last night, to try and get her to write and learn her spellings, I said, well, I'm going to write out your spellings, the words you've got to spell this week, and all I want you to do is just copy them out and keep copying them out. Almost like lines. And you'll learn how to spell them that way. Uh, but then she gets frustrated and... But we'll see. I owe her a pound for good reading as well, I forgot about. Sometimes if she does exceptional reading, like she knows all the words in the book or all but one or two, we'll give her a pound as a reward. She puts it in her money box and it's for her to spend next year when we go on holiday or something like that. I don't think it's doing anything. It's still 22%. Perhaps it's not. Who knows? So, we're going to get her soon. It's nearly time. Hooray! I think she likes coming home. She wanted to have her parents' evening last night because her best friend's was last night. Um, assuming they do it alphabetically by surname, you know? I don't know them. I'm assuming that's what they do. So. Oh, my neck. I have to stop in a bit because my neck is killing me. Not literally going to kill me, but it's hurting a lot. Oh, where's the book gone? There it is. Where's the stars? There they are. So, yeah. I really want her to enjoy school. Even though I was very badly bullied at school. I still enjoyed it at times. Certain things. I loved it when it was reading and history and stuff like that. Maths I was never as good at. But, so I didn't really like maths, but hey, it's okay. Everybody's good at different things, aren't they? And, and everybody wants to do different things. And it would be very dull if we were all identical. Same as we all have our different takes on the pictures. It'd be very boring if we all did these pictures in these books 
the same. It would be boring, wouldn't it, if we did it all the same? So, oops. Let's have this one. It's, it's nice to have different... Oops, hang on, I'm just going to sharpen this pen. There we go, that'll do. Won't be much longer now. I think I've done 20 minutes so far. Um, what's the time? It's just gone to. It's alright, we've got some time. i just got to make sure I pick up chair and that's all. Um, it's upside down and. Uh, it's a bit orange, but I'll put a yellow over the top of it in a minute. Is my terrible whistling. That's a bit better. Yeah. Oh, shoulders killing me. Looking good. We're getting there. Slowly, slowly. I'm just looking for some pencils. Obviously, what am I thinking? Oh. I don't know. Anyway. Let's do the shelves. I think I'll do, do the shelves lilac. Because I, I, I fancy a bit of colour. <laughs> I'm going to have to tidy this mess up. Like this, my desk is... Oh, there's that blue I was looking for. Fab. That's the one I want. All right, lovely. Yes, we'll have lilac shelving, I think. I'm afraid of brown. Oh, no, we will have brown shelving. We'll have a lilac rug. Keep changing my mind. It's okay. So we're going to do this little rug, and we're going to do it lilac. Yes, that's a nice colour. So, so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out my um, other camera again. It's been a while since it's been years, I haven't been using years. Um, Chris bought it for me back in 2000 and I want to say around 2010. That sounds about right. And oh, love it. Might have been earlier than that actually, but I don't think it was. If it was, it wasn't much earlier than that. I just I just love it. I love photographs. So although I've got this one that I do with the videos and stuff. I wanna be take photographs I want to work on them and, and organize them the way I used to it's gonna take me a lot to get it all up to date and sorted but I will it'll just take me a little while nope don't you dare go off you little naughty thing you need to stick Those two, why are they still there? I'll do it after that. Okay. Oh, my neck. I'm gonna have to stop in a bit. Yeah, so definitely trying to uh, uh, do this bit of uh, shelving now. Last blue, I didn't want blue. See, I'm not really with it. I'm just going to go over it. It's fine. I wonder if those are gumballs. So, yeah, with Halloween coming, Jennifer... Oh, I, I'm not big on Halloween. I don't want to go out trick-or-treating. To be honest, I've never been a big... I like the concept and I like the witchy stuff, but I'm not... I'm not confident going around knocking on strangers' doors. I'm just not one of those people who likes doing it. I, you know, quite rather just stay at home in the warm watching a horror film. Yes, I'll watch a horror film happily. But, uh, 
I don't really want to do anything else now. Like uh, go trick or treating and stuff. It's not my bag. I totally get that some people love it, but it's not for me. I would rather just watch a horror film or read a horror book. Not that I actually find any particular horror books scary um, at all. I might think, oh, that's a bit creepy uh, and it might make me feel a bit off centre, but yeah, it's hard to explain. But I don't find anything that has literally kept me awake at night. Not anymore. I guess life's real horrors are more scary than fiction. But I do like reading it. And I'm like, I don't know, I'd have to have a think. What scared me? What has scared me? Mm. That is something I would actually have to think about. I don't actually know. I have no idea how long this video is, but I'm going to stop because my neck's killing me. So I do apologise, this is a very, very short one. Ugh. I will be back next week. We will be doing another colour and chat with Pillow Whips. We might do a different one next week. Um, and I might try and do a bit of this. We'll finish it off camera just a little bit at a time. Um, but yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this little catch up. So sorry there wasn't one last week. Um, there are some flip throughs, flip, flip, flip throughs coming soon. Next week's half term. That's what I was going to say. Next week is half term. So we'll be going out um, at least two days. Uh, potentially to Lan Because I can't pronounce it because it's very Welsh. Because that place is closing in December, sadly. Um, yeah, so we want to go and take Jen there before it closes. Um, but I don't know about where else. But anyway, I'll see you next week and I'll let you know what's happening when I know. All right, take care, guys. Happy colouring. Bye.